Hey guys, it's Lewis or the Gaming Rift here, and today I'm back with another Transformers Top 5. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the Top 5 Megatron designs in the Bayverse, that being from Transformers 2007 all the way to the last night. Now keep in mind guys, two things. One, I'm going to be looking at the robot and vehicle mode for Megatron. I was going to do two separate lists to milk it for the views, but I decided to not, you know, just get it all done in one package. And obviously this is probably the most subjective one yet, as... You know, my number 5 spot could be your number 1 spot and vice versa. With that being said though guys, if you like more videos like this, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, that'd be great. Now let's get into the video. Alright guys, so coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the Age of Extinction Galvatron design. And this design has never really appealed to me for two reasons. Firstly, looking at the truck, I don't like how they based it on Optimus Prime. You know, the KSI guy does indeed say that he based Galvatron off of Optimus Prime, so why does he look like Megatron? And that's kind of the biggest problem I have. Like, if you're going to base him off one of the characters, go all in. But they kind of go with this half and half, where the vehicle mode looks like Optimus's truck, and, you know, the robot mode looks more like Megatron's uh, 2007 design, which isn't that bad, but I just wish they went all in in one direction, because, you know, with Sentinel Prime, his design was similar to Optimus, you know, in stature, and I think it worked better as a result, whereas this just doesn't work that well. You know, the truck is a boring ass generic, you know, truck. It just doesn't scream Megatron in the slightest. And when you get into the robot mode, things do improve, I won't lie. However, aside from the chest area of Galvatron, there really is nothing that makes this version iconic in any way. You know, there's the mini stinger blades. That's kind of cool, but they aren't the best blade weapons that Megatron uses in the series, you know, and yes, this guy is imposing, he's strong, you know, he's actually at 100% unlike two of the other Megatron designs, which we'll get into later on, but, you know, I don't want to hate on this guy too much, because there are things that are cool about him, you know, he's colourful, he's menacing, and I actually do like his head design, I guess, I mean, it's probably the weakest Megatron head design out of the five, but you know, there are things to like about this guy, but he is definitely the worst one out of the five in my opinion, and he comes in at the number five spot. At the number four spot, guys, we have the Last Night Megatron design, and this is probably the most generic, mediocre, like, design of the five, where he's clearly Megatron. Like, he stands above the Galvatron design because I really like the jet mode. It's something that a Megatron would, you know, use in, like, the comics or something like that. And I really like the robot mode, especially his Buster Sword, which is far more iconic and menacing than, you know, those shitty little blades that he uses, you know. And I actually do like his design a lot more. He is definitely more rounded and, you know, humanoid, just like the Optimus Prime uh, Knight form. But I think that it really works well for Megatron as being sort of, Meg you know, Optimus is equal, you know, that sort of thing. I don't think his design is spectacular by any means. As I said, you know, I, I don't, one thing that I really don't like about this guy is his plasma cannon. I think, or his fusion cannon rather. I just think it's really, really boring. When you compare it to the Revenge of the Fallen and especially the 2007 design it's just not that good in my opinion and holds this guy back not to mention i would prefer you know the original free megatron designs as they are more alien and more menacing in my opinion but nevertheless this is a very average to good design and it comes in at the number four spot we were brothers once once At the number three spot, guys, we have the Dark of the Moon Megatron design. And I actually really do like this guy. I know that I gave, you know, uh, Age of Extinctions, Galvatron, a load of shit for being a truck. But at the very least, this one is very, very different. As he has, you know, the fuel tanker and, you know, the rusted down truck, which gives him a very battle scarred look. Not to mention, he shares some similarities to the Revenge of the Fallen designs, specifically the head, even though obviously a large percentage 
advantage of his head is missing due to, you know, the final battle of Revenge of the Fallen. It is still, you know, that design that I know and love. And I love as well that he's got the scalpel drones all the way around him. I think it just really adds a lot of character to him. And, you know, everything about this design is really cool. You know, the color could be better, but I do like the rust as well as his weapon, you know, the shotgun. I think it is one of the less um it's it's not a very good weapon but i think it's different and it was a breath of fresh air for the character to wield a weapon that was smaller and more refined and it comes in at the number three spot At the number two spot, guys, we have the Revenge of the Fallen design. And whilst this was a step backwards from the O7 design, I still really liked it. You know, as he spent two years at the bottom of the, you know, the Mariana Trench. And not only that, he was also combined with Trench's parts to give him, you know, treads and a new Cybertronian jet tank hybrid, which I do really like. And it's probably one of my favorite vehicles that Megatron has adopted. Not to mention, I really like his new robot model how it m robot mode how it's like disproportionate he's got a giant ass cannon very thick legs and a kind of a really weak pathetic you know left arm i think that his design is actually very cool very battle scarred very um just a very cool powerful imposing design like when he roundhouse kicked prime with his leg you really do believe that this guy is just a powerhouse of destruction I really love this design. It's not quite as good as the original, however, it's still very good in my opinion, and it comes in at the number two spot. Taking the number one spot, guys, should be no surprise whatsoever. It's the 07 design. And really, what can I say about this design that hasn't already been said? It's the perfect blend of robot, machine, organism, you know, but also alien, you know, mo at the forefront. I really love this guy's vehicle. His robot mode is a complete contrast from the friendly, warm Optimus Prime. He is very much alien and hostile. And he also has my favorite fusion cannon of all of the Megatrons, where his arms essentially transform and fuse together to form this big, massive cannon. Really, it's just a, it, it's a, a spectacle to behold. It really is. So If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more from me, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Join the Discord server down below. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. This is Lewis, signing out.